we just engaged in a little bit of uh, martial nonviolence training together. And my question for Clayton is, um, what's your takeaway? What's the thing that you will remember about this uh, that will keep you working, keep you practicing um, as you go from now until our next session? Well, I guess the difficulty I'm having is getting to that third option um, that is the martial nonviolence part. Um, I haven't been taught um, how to how to use a um, non-aggressive verbiage and things like that. I've, I've always been taught either um, defense or evasion. So um, trying to get to that third step and trying to figure out what options might be available and how I might use them. That's what I want to learn about. That sounds very right to me. Um, what I find from the Aikido mat. Uh, from helping people to defend themselves physically is that they freeze or they resist or they try to use muscle to move the other person around and the third option that we're finding our way into and constantly realizing okay I'm not really doing that is that sort of getting out of the way that accompanies the other person. It doesn't leave me as the target but it doesn't involve my having to be stronger or faster or meaner or whatever than the other person. It really just gets out of the way and lets the process continue. And so, just like training for a martial art, when we're training in martial nonviolence, the proof is in the result. It's very, I'm very functionalist. And if I say to the person, regardless of what, it, what I feel like they should interpret what I'm saying to be, if they say, you suck in one way or another, and I say, oh, I respect your opinion, and they go, I, I just, you just did that. Mm -hmm. It could be more subtle than, no, you suck. But it's the same kind of feel. And the result I want is that they soften and they start to give me the information I want to really know what decision I want to make. If I don't get the information and they're not on board with the process, I didn't deploy the correct tactic to engage them in a way that can lead to both of us getting what we need. And I'm constantly looking for that with my spouse, with my children, with whoever, because I'm kind of a practice maniac, is that I'm constantly thinking, okay, how did I deliver that? Did I really invite them in a way that will continue so that we can both get what we need? Or did I just make them wrong, smack them down? Because there's a thousand ways to make somebody else suddenly wrong, feel bad, whatever. And what I'm looking for is that sort of rising energy in which they engage with me. Not because I say, yeah, you're probably right and wrong, because I don't want to get beat down, but because I've said something that sparks them to engage with me positively. And there are some people who I admire immensely who can do that really fast with a very short phrase that's neutral at the level of the conflict and really interesting at the level of getting what you want. And that's what I'm always looking for. But the only way I know of to get to that third option is by noting the wrong way to do it, either by doing it or by going, yeah, there's that impulse in me, and then reminding myself of the stock phrase or the, the thing that I've practiced that isn't the thing that doesn't work, and then opening up to being able to do it in motion without having to think about those first two steps. And it's the repetition of the ones that are exercises, practices, things like that, that feel stilted and weird. It's the rehearsal of the script that allows the performance to be natural. So that's what I'd like to, to suggest everyone take away, is that we're reframing this as practice, as though we were going to perform a demonstration of conflict done well, every time somebody comes at us. And whether it's out of an alleyway with a two by four, and you're gonna practice Aikido, much to their surprise, or they're just accusing you of doing all kinds of wrong things, you're being stupid or whatever, that you would respond to them with a nonviolence that is martial. We're insisting on it. This is, this is how I'm going to be when I'm in conflict. I don't feel like doing it that way. You obviously don't wanna do it that way. Regardless, this is how I will be participating and it's absolute in a way that other methods usually aren't. That's the proposal. Thanks, Thanks for your time.